Captains, we tend to mumble, so when I ask you stuff like you reject say, I need to hear you say that you do. You've asked to have your child baptized. In doing so, you're accepting the responsibility of training her in the practice of the faith. It will be your duty to bring her up to keep God's commandments as Christ taught us by loving God and our neighbor. Do you clearly understand what you are undertaking? The answer is yes. Yes. God parents, are you ready to help the parents of this child in their duty as Christian parents? Yes. Yes. You guys want to make good Protestants. What are you guys doing? <laughs> the Christian community welcomes you with great joy. In his name, I now claim you for Christ our Savior by the sign of his cross. I now trace the cross on your forehead. And invite your parents and godparents to do the same. This is the right baby, right? Sometimes there's more than one baby here, and I go to the wrong baby. We not give us life, and now shall not your people rejoice in you. Show us, O Lord, your kindness, and grant us your salvation. I will hear what God proclaims, the Lord, for he proclaims peace to his people. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Matthew. Jesus said to the eleven disciples, All power in heaven and earth has been given to me. Go therefore and make disciples of all nations, baptizing them in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, teaching them to observe all that I have commanded you. And behold, I am with you always until the end of the age. This is the gospel of the Lord. What follows is the shortest homily you're ever going to hear, no matter where you go. What we do here today, Christ commanded us to do over 2,000 years ago. Now you tell me if you find a homily shorter than that. You're not going to. My dear brother, this is, this is, my, this is my, my girlfriend, but that's not my wife. It's just my girlfriend. I don't mean in the way you probably think it's my girlfriend. She's my friend. She's a girl. She's my girlfriend, but not how you can tell it. My dear brothers and sisters, let us now ask our Lord Jesus Christ to look lovely on this child who is to be baptized, on her parents and godparents, and on all the baptized. By the mystery of your death and resurrection, bathe this child in life. Give her the new life of baptism and welcome her into your holy church. The answer is, Lord, hear our prayer. Lord, hear our prayer. You guys would have been good for us. Most of the time, we still don't talk prayer. You guys are doing really well. Lead her by a holy life to the joys of God's kingdom. Lord, hear our prayer. Lord, hear our prayer. Make the lives of her parents and godparents example to his father, of faith to his father's child. Lord, hear our prayer. Keep her family always in your love. Lord, hear our prayer. Renew the grace of our baptism in each one of us. Lord, hear our prayer. Now the response becomes, pray for us. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us. St. John the Baptist, pray for us. St. Joseph, pray for us. Saints Peter and Paul, pray for us. Saint Damien, pray for us. Saint Mary Ann Cope, pray for us. All holy men and women, pray for us. Almighty and ever living God, you sent your only Son into the world to cast out the power of Satan, the spirit of evil, to rescue man from the kingdom of darkness and bring him into the splendor of your kingdom of light. We pray for this child. Set her free from original sin. Make her a temple of your glory and send your Holy Spirit to dwell with her. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. We anoint you with the oil of salvation in the name of Christ our Savior. May he strengthen you with his power who lives and reigns forever and ever. Amen. Father, you gave us grace through sacramental signs which tell us of the wonders of your unseen power. In baptism, we use your gift of water, which you made a rich symbol of the grace you give us in this sacrament. At the very dawn of creation, your spirit breathed on the waters, making them the wellspring of all holiness. The waters of the great flood, you made a sign of the waters of baptism to make an end of sin and a new beginning of goodness. Through the waters of the Red Sea, you led Israel out of slavery to be an image of God's holy people, set free from sin by baptism. In the waters of the Jordan, your son was baptized by John and anointed with the Spirit. Your son willed that water and blood should flow from his side as he hung upon the cross. After his resurrection, he told his disciples, Go out and teach all nations, baptizing them in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Father, look now with love upon your church and unseal for her the fountain of baptism. By the power of the Spirit, give to the water of this font the grace of your Son. You created man in your own likeness, cleanse him from sin, and a new birth to the innocent by water and the Spirit. We ask the Father of your Son to send your Holy Spirit upon the water of this fall. May all who are buried with Christ in the death of baptism rise also with him to newness of life. We ask this for Christ our Lord. Amen.
Dear parents and godparents, you have come here to present this child for baptism. By water and the Holy Spirit, she is to receive the new gift of life from God, who is love. On your part, you must make it your constant care to bring, him, bring her up in the practice of the faith. See that the divine life which God gives her is kept safe from the poison of sin to grow always stronger in her heart. If your faith makes you ready to accept this responsibility, renew now the vows of your own baptism, reject sin, profess your faith in Christ Jesus. This is the faith of the church. This is the faith in which this child is about to be baptized. This is really important questions here. Do you reject Satan? Yes. yes. Just these guys or everybody? Did you, did you got? Yes. yes. Everybody say yes. Yes. You have to say it so Satan can hear it. Since he's kind of a long way down, you have to say it loud. And all his works. Yes. 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 And all his empty promises. Yes. yes. Do you believe in Jesus Christ, his only Lord, Lord, Lord. Do you believe in God the Father Almighty, creator of heaven and earth? Yes. Do yes. you believe in Jesus Christ, his only Son, our Lord, who was born of the Virgin Mary, was crucified, died, and was buried, rose from the dead, and is now seated at the right hand of the Father? Yes. yes. You believe in the Holy Spirit, the Holy Catholic Church, the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins, resurrection of the body, and life everlasting. Yes. Amen. This is our faith. This is the faith of the church. We are proud to profess in Christ Jesus our Lord. Amen. Now, this is the part where the child gets wet, so now you can bring her up. <laughs> is it your will that this child should be baptized in the faith of the church that you have all professed with you? Say yes. Yes. You too? You're the father? You gotta say yes too. <laughs> all right. It's the part where I put water on her head. You can get her anywhere close. Yeah. That's all right if the water gets on the floor. It's holy water in the holy church. Baptize you in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. They always jealous of these babies. They all got more hair than me. <laughs> This is the fountain of life made holy by the suffering of Christ washing all the world. You who are washed in this water have hope of heaven's kingdom. Okay. I'll tell you what, I'm going to give you both of these. I don't know how this other one goes on, but this goes on like this. And how this stays on, I don't know. But anyway, that goes on too. If it falls on the floor, that's okay. You may think it was on for an instant. You have become a new creation and clothe yourself in Christ. See in this white garment the outward sign of your Christian dignity with your family and friends to help you by word and example. Bring that dignity unstained to, to the everlasting life of heaven. Amen. Amen. This is the part where whatever person that you guys designate can light this candle or for that Easter candle. So who do you guys want to do it? Me. Me. All right. <laughs> you catch a church on fire, we're going to charge you for it. I'm joking. We see the light of Christ. Parents and Godparents, this light has entrusted you to be kept burning brightly. This child of yours has been enlightened by Christ. She is to walk always as the child of light. May she keep the flame of life alive in her heart. When the Lord comes, may she go out to meet him with all the saints in the heavenly kingdom. Amen. The Lord made the deaf hear and the dumb speak. May he soon touch her ear.